Jonathan here for Tailhunter Sport Fishing, and it's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz video fishing report coming to you from La Paz, Baja, Mexico, and covering all of the fishing action for our Tailhunter Sport Fishing fleet for the dates of the 18th through the 25th of November 2021. Wherever you are, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for spending time with us, and also please do us a favor. If you like what we're doing, you've been following what we've been doing, give us a thumbs up, a like, or don't forget to subscribe. Also, let me get in as well. Uh, you're reading this or you're seeing this on Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving weekend. A special shout out to all of you. Please have a safe, happy, and peaceful Thanksgiving from Jill, myself, and the rest of our Tail Hunter family. Hope it's a great weekend and great holidays for you. Okay, our fishing report this week was a little late. I, I let it stretch a little. That's because, well, we're in the middle, or we're just at the start, I should say, of our off season. November to April, as I've mentioned many times, is our off season. Not many folks fishing because of the weather. It can be very, very windy. As a matter of fact, this coming week, we might have the chance of rain. Plus, there's some very strong northern winds coming in. Makes it very, very tough to fish. And I wouldn't be surprised if the port captain probably shuts down maybe a day or two from all watercraft from leaving the marinas or harbors. So that's why it's a very difficult time to fish. And also, I didn't do a fishing report because, well, there hasn't been a lot of fishing. And uh, this last week, as a matter of fact, the big focus in La Paz wasn't fishing. Town was full. Make no mistake about that. The snowbirds are coming in, but also we had the Baja 1000 for the first time in, I guess, three years. Usually it's every other year. It goes to either Cabo San Lucas from Ensenada to Cabo San Lucas or from Ensenada down to La Paz. And everyone was in La Paz this week. I mean, you could not find a hotel room, a parking space, uh, a, ho a, uh, a dining reservation. I mean, I turned away probably groups of 10, 12, 20, a group of 30. There were so many people trying to get reservations at the last minute. There's only so many seats for restaurants in La Paz. If you didn't make reservations ahead of time, there was just no way to get folks in. Same with hotels. I was getting calls up until the last minute with folks just deciding to come down check out the Baja 1000. There's nothing available. Things were booked up three to four months in advance. So a lot of folks were in town, not a lot of folks fishing. And uh, like I said, town was full. Also, another reason there weren't fishing is because the winds were up. We did have a couple boats go out and I'll be honest with you, it was hit or miss. I mean, it's really difficult to know how the fishing is when you've only got one or two boats out. Other fleets maybe have one boat out, two boats or no boats out. It's different when we have the season going on. You've got 10, 20, 30 boats scattered all over. You know, one guy hits the Dorado, another guy hits the Tuna. You're able to come up with some kind of a fishing plan every day because you've got a report. You know that folks are fishing, you know, here and there and here and there. So you know where the fish are. When you've only got a couple boats out or the wind is blowing, it's number one, hard to get to some of the spots where you know the fish are or there's really no scouting party. Nobody's checking out all the areas where there could be fish. So a captain may think that the fish are in one spot and it turns out there's nothing. Another captain may go to another spot nearby and find the fish. So it's hit or miss. It's just going to be that way probably through about April as we get further into the winter, as things get colder, as the winds increase. That's just the way it is during the off season. That being said, we did catch a couple of fish. There's still some Dorado running around. Not anything huge, but, you know, some 5 to 10 pound fish. A lot of fun. Maybe 2 to 3, 4 fish per boat per day if you find that spot. Also some Big Bonito out there. There's still some Jacks. There's Pargo. There's Cabrilla. A lot of Sierra that popped up as well. But again, you've got to find the spots. If the captain thinks that a spot is hot, like I said, and there's nothing going on, that could be the boat that just, it's one of those things. The thing with it right now is that you know, during the regular season, folks come down and they're fishing two, three, four, or more days during the period of their vacation. So, you know, yes, there could be an off day, a day where they just don't find the fish. It's just the way fishing is, right? But over three, four, five, six days, whatever it may be, they're going to get some fish because they're going to check out different spots. There's going to be a fishing report every day and everybody can have a battle plan, so to speak, for their fishing. During the off season, the problem is that folks come down and uh, they may be snowbirds. They, they want to come down. They're coming down from Alaska or New York or wherever it may be that's cold. They want some sunshine. And then they give us a call. And at the last minute, they decide they just want to go out and catch some fish, have one day of fishing. Well, you know, that could be the day or that captain that 
it just doesn't happen or the wind's blowing or it's really, really rough. And so they've only got that one opportunity to get to fish. Or they could be that one boat that hits the fish and they think everything's fantastic and my gosh, this is the best fishing they've ever had because they hit the right spot, right place, right time. So that's the dichotomy of coming down to fish during the off season. So anyway, that'll be a quick wrap up. Again, wishing you all a safe, happy and peaceful Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving holidays and the rest of the holidays as well. Thanks for checking in. God bless. Take care of each other. Please give us a thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll come back to you next week. I'm Jonathan for the Mexican Minute. God bless. Take care.